Every so often, if you're lucky, you meet a person who puts life in perspective. I had a sense that something was really quite wrong. She said that she was having a hard time breathing. Then and there, I thought that she might die. She opened her eyes for just like a second, and she saw me, and she smiled, and then she just went back to sleep. Love you. And Debbie really had to pull me together. She had to say, don't lose it, because she's still alive. From that day on, my life has been totally changed. My whole focus was staying alive. The whole day was dark, but there was one little speck of light, and you just aimed at that light. Everyone thinks that they have a fix. I'm done looking. I don't need to be fixed. I just really wanted the use of my hands again so I could play music. She has to learn a different way of doing things. Earl says, Normal's boring. He wants to be normal anyways. I woke up one morning and I was almost completely paralyzed. The melodies were there, so I couldn't write them down. I just kept them in my head. It takes mentors to broaden your mind and the way you learn. Dear Justin, my name is Grace Fisher. I've been an absolute fan of your work. She spent hours in front of the computer composing. Do you hear this kind of in a concert hall? Yeah. I'd never written for a full symphony before. With the limitations, you get other sort of powers. You now you can sort of hear it more in your head. The great thing about art is it can be adapted and changed, and it's still art.